Pattern blocks could also be used to develop fraction ideas. For example, in a previous uh, activity, we might have looked at the cover-ups idea of how many different ways you can cover up a yellow hexagon. Well, let's just extend that a little bit further. We've worked out that you could use two red trapeziums to cover a yellow hexagon. But if you think about it, one red trapezium covers half the surface area there of the yellow hexagon. So the relationship would be the red piece is half the area of the yellow piece. Now, when we're talking about fractions and, and this notion of part of a whole, the parts have to be equal parts. So the same thing could be said here of the three blue rhombuses. Each one of those could represent one third the area of the yellow hexagon. And by the same reasoning, each of these pieces, the green triangles, each of them are the same size, so they're equal size pieces. Each of them represents one sixth of the entire yellow hexagon. Now that can help us, once we've established that relationship, to think about some ideas. One would be equivalent fractions. If you look down at this one here, we can see that each of those represents a sixth. So each green triangle is one sixth the area of the yellow hexagon. So one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth, or three sixths, covers exactly the same area as our red trapezium. Now that was one half the area of the yellow hexagon, and three sixths, or one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth, also covers a half. So three sixths is an equivalent fraction to one half. So you can see how if you start to develop the relationships between these pieces, we can really get some good fractional thinking happening.